Well, let's speak to Dave, who's also a Tottenham fan. Dave, welcome. Morning, Dave. Morning, Dave. Morning, gents. How are you doing? Very well, mate. I imagine we're slightly better than you this morning. <laughs> At least living, living the nightmare, mate. Living the nightmare. That's what's happening up here. Um, I, I, I cannot believe it. I really cannot. Uh, I've spotted Spurs for 40 years now, and unfortunately, I also blooded Tottenham into my kids. Now, last night, my kids broke my heart. They came down from upstairs with tears in their eyes, sat down nervously and looked at me and said, you know what, Dad, we don't know if we want to be Tottenham fans no more. And honestly, I cannot explain, gents, what that, what that done to us. It ripped the heart and soul out of us. And I had to sit down and convince them that Tottenham is in our blood. It's not just what's happening now. We're Tottenham fans for life. And do you know what? Mourinho has ripped the heart and the soul from our football club along with one or two other players who don't want to play for the team anymore. To pull that shirt on should be an honour. And there was players out there last night that don't deserve to be there. So what do they want, Dave? A Newcastle strip instead? Uh, no thanks, Paul. No thanks. <laughs> uh, Arsenal? Uh, right, I'm going to continue. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, listen. The, the, I'm just going to sum it up. And I, I said to the kids last night, you know, when we played West Ham a couple of weeks back, the centre-half... It, there was blood flowing from his head, and my son said, oh, Dad, I don't want football no more. And I said, listen, this is what it means to play for a football club. That guy would give his heart and soul for West Ham United. Was there one Tottenham player out there last night, mm. OK, Biden and Harry Kane and Mora, who would put their head on the line? Two of the goals last night, Aurier, I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, he's not cool. yeah. the, the shirt, the shirt. Sanchez, their third goal, out the way of it, you know. My son said, I'd have died at first, Dad, to try and block that. Hmm. There's just no heart and soul in the club, honestly. I don't know what to do. Um, Dyer is in a comfort zone. Deli Ali, unfortunately, absolutely superb. Previous, but now he's in his comfort zone. It's time that we, we, we put a sock in and we reinvested. Okay, Dave, I'm going to move on. Thank you.